Hi, my name is EJ Massa. It's no secret that I love whiskey. And I thought to myself, if I love drinking it so much, well, maybe I'd love eating it as well. That way, I don't ever have to stop. I don't ever have to stop. And I also love ribs. And when I go to the supermarket, I see rows and rows of barbecue sauces and whiskey barbecue sauces are featured prominently on that shelf. And I was like, hey, maybe I should try making a whiskey barbecue sauce. So I did what any other person would do if they come up with an idea in a fever dream. Google it and figure out how to do it. So that's exactly what I did. Oh, I mean, whiskey barbecue sauce. Yes, yes. And let me see, hmm, how about I try the first result? Allrecipes.com. Oh, and this recipe has five stars. <laughs> that seems really important. If it was four and a half stars, mediocre, not worth it. For this recipe, we'll need two cups of ketchup. I'll just use the standard old Heinz and, how rude. Advertising barbecue sauce while making barbecue sauce. Wait your fucking turn. Next, one fourth cup of tomato paste, one third cup of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of liquid smoke. I wanna meet the wizard that trapped the essence of smoke within a fluid. I wanna meet a wizard. Then a one third teaspoon of a hot pepper sauce. I'm using Tabasco Chipotle because I like its smoky taste. And if it's anything like the Chipotle restaurant, I might get the norovirus. Uh, it's a plus. One fourth cup of Worcestershire, a half teaspoon of ground pepper, a half tablespoon of salt, and one half cup of packed brown sugar. I make sure to use dark brown sugar because I like my sugar like I like my women. Sweet. Aww. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, thank you. We'll set that aside for now. Next, we'll mince up half an onion and four cloves of garlic. Insert metal man joke, blah, 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 whatever. Just gonna put them in the food processor and shred them up good. Next, we'll need three fourth cups of whiskey. I'm using the standard Jack Daniels black label. Taste a bit of it to make sure it hasn't gone bad. Couldn't quite tell. I'll just have another taste. Uh, one more taste. Uh, one more one taste. Is bad? One more bad? I'm bad. One more taste. I'll just one have more another taste. taste. Put a saucepan over medium heat, add in the whiskey and the minced onion and garlic. Simmer that for about 10 minutes until the onion is tender. Tender like my heart, for you. Aww. Thank you. Thank you, thanks. Hey, thank you, thanks. Add in all the ingredients you set aside and bring to a boil. Reduce the heat to low and simmer for about 20 minutes. It's looking like a nice dark red. I'm gonna pour into a mason jar and put it in the fridge overnight. Putting it in the fridge helps all the flavors blend together better. If you tasted it right now hot out of the pot, it might taste overly of ketchup. But that's not the only recipe I thought I'd try. It's a big world with lots of ideas. So I scrolled a little farther down on that Google search to find a recipe from AmazingRibs.com. Now don't be discouraged because it looks like a website from 2004. It's filled with lots of barbecue tips, great recipes, and gear reviews. It's a trusted source, so I thought it'd be a good recipe to test out. It contains a lot of the same ingredients like ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, and liquid smoke. But it also brings its own fun ingredients to the table, like a tablespoon of lemon juice. I always use fresh squeezed. Oh, f these things. Tasteless lemon grenades. Two tablespoons of malt vinegar, which honestly I've never tried, but I hear are great in baked potatoes. Four tablespoons of molasses, and of course, a half cup of whiskey. Make sure you taste the whiskey to see if it's up to your standards. Oh, hey, wait, this guy makes the same joke. Well, I hope his sauce is as good as his sense of humor. Set that aside for now, pour one cup of whiskey into a saucepan, and bring to a boil. You're going to boil that down to two tablespoons, which when you're done looks nice and cloudy and brown like this. So when you reduce whiskey like that, it, it basically just leaves that you know, vanilla-y, caramel-y taste of the, the essence of the whiskey, which personally the essence of the whiskey for me is the alcohol. Add the rest of the ingredients and simmer for about a half an hour, or when it reduces by one third. Since my stovetop runs a bit hot, it actually took me 20 minutes to reduce it by a third. Now that it's done, bottle that up and store it in the fridge overnight. Now for the taste test. I decided to pit these two guys up against off the shelf Jack Daniels barbecue sauce just to make things more exciting. I prepared this thing up in the Red Cow Kitchen. The rub I used on the ribs was the AmazingRibs.com Memphis dust. I thought it'd be fitting since Jack Daniels is made in Tennessee, this is Memphis dust. It made sense to me. I cut the ribs into thirds, ran them through the Instant Pot, slathered on the sauce, and broiled them for a bit. The all recipe ones look nice and red and tasty. The Amazing Ribs has a deeper red color, and the Jack Daniel sauce is much darker brown. Hmm, I think I'll need some help tasting these. I wonder who could do it. I know, initiate box mac cameras. <laughs> Joining me to help taste this is Red Cow's own Jonathan Hunt. Super it's a me. Superstar. <laughs> I uh, am super excited for this. These look so good. Do you have ribs often? Uh, pretty rarely, to be honest with you. I don't, uh, I don't usually buy them. And, uh, and when I do, 
Uh, I usually just put, I use them on the grill. You didn't, you don't usually get them at restaurants? No, no, because I've never really had any that I really love. That's, you know, that's my experience too, is that in a restaurant, it's like they always feel dry to me. Yeah, they, very they, dry. It's just, it's just like they threw ribs into like a microwave or something. Yeah, and a lot of times they're way over sauced. We'll serve these up. All right. Both of the, the two that you made are looking really good. Uh, Jack Daniels one kind of got charred and that yeah. might be because it has maybe more sugar yeah. or uh, just slathering it on. I, it felt like the Amazing Ribs one seemed like it was easier to work with and, yeah. and uh, slather over. Let's start with all recipe. Okay. One thing I will say before we start is that mm -hmm. this takes half the amount of whiskey that the Amazing Ribs does. Half of it. So you half boil down a lot, presumably, because this, yeah. unless the recipe yields quite differently. Yeah, I think they, they yield lot. differently. So yeah. this yields twice as much as this one, but yep. uses half the whiskey. Uh -huh. It might not have as much whiskey flavor, yep. I'm assuming. It's also less expensive because whiskey is expensive. Yeah. Um, and what kind of whiskey do you use in these? Uh, Jack Daniels for both of them. Oh. So they, they should be consistent if, if the Heinz Corporation... Uh, Actually is, uses Jack Daniels? Yeah. It says... Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey flavoring. I don't know what that even means. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's uh, dig okay. in. Okay. Mm, mm. That's actually very good. It's very tasty, very nice flavor, nice amount of sweetness. But yeah, it's also got, you know, it's a little tomato-y. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ketchup really does come through. Uh, I like the sweetness a lot, and the, I mean, the underlying rib is just fantastic too. I gotta say, I don't get a whole lot of Jack Daniels flavor out of it. No, no. I feel like I will need to cleanse my palate a little <laughs> because yeah. it's swimming in my mouth right now. I'm gonna clear it with a little ginger ale from the Shrubs Company. The official palate cleanser of EJ Cooks. This next one is AmazingRibs.com. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like a deeper flavor. Yeah, there's more nuance to the flavor. Not as ketchup-y. I can, I can taste a little of Jack Daniels, actually. It's a, yeah, a little mm -hmm. vanilla-y. It's, it's a more nuanced thing. It's not as the... All recipe is a little more overpowering. Yeah. I'm personally more accustomed to kind of the more overpowering flavor on a rib. Mm. Um, and this is good, it's really light, but just because I think I'm so accustomed to it, this is, I'm drawn to this one a little more, but I like the richer flavor and that probably comes from that extra whiskey. So far, prefer the uh, all recipe. Maybe making this with more whiskey and just kind of letting it boil down. Yeah. I think there's a happy medium here. Okay, let's see what our friends at the Heinz Craft Corporation have uh, in store Have for done us. up for us. Mm. I don't like it as well as either of the other ones. No. Um, it's, it almost doesn't have much of a flavor. It's really artificially smoky. Yes. There's artificial, not artificial, well, smoke in a bottle yeah. in, in both of these, but it's not as overpowering as this. This actually really reminds me of um, Smoky Bones ribs, which I'm not a huge fan of. The meat quality is actually better than a Smoky Bones rib. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of this off-brand uh, barbecue chip, like potato yeah. chips. It definitely, when they say Jack Daniels flavor, I think they mean it, because I've had Jack Daniels branded dishes at restaurants, and they taste like this. Yeah, th that's a huge thing, is um, if you go to like Dave & Buster's, you yeah, can get- or Applebee's, yeah, or any you, of those. You can get the Jack Daniels chicken tenders, uh, yeah. and it, it Tastes okay. Yeah, it tastes kind of like this. Whereas this this one actually has the real textured flavor of the whiskey. So there you have it, the first Google search, allrecipe.com. I really recommend it. Maybe add a little bit of whiskey essence uh, reduced down, yeah, and I think whiskey. that would be the thing. Amazing Ribs, also very good, more nuanced flavor, and Jack Daniels, don't bother. Don't bother. Well, thanks so much for, uh, for making these for me, EJ. They were really delicious. Thank you very much for joining me on EJ Cooks, and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.